There's a question I've been wondering about for a while now, a mystery that gets debated a lot in specific comments, but no one seems to agree on exactly what the answer is. And that question is, what would happen if Ben 10 scanned Son Goku using the Omnitrix? What would end up happening, and what would that mean for Ben himself? Well, today I'm here to answer all those questions for you. And if you wouldn't mind, please leave a like and subscribe, and let's get right into the video. Face on. The first thing I want to go over is how exactly the Omnitrix works. And the easiest way to understand the watch is that it's a database of alien samples and allows the user to turn into these aliens whenever they choose to. Usually the user is confined to 10 samples, but this has since been surpassed as Ben got older and got different upgrades to the watch. So I will be focusing on a teenage Ben with master control, which basically means he has complete access to all millions, potentially billions of samples. But along with that function, Ben can also scan in new aliens into the watch. Because the Omnitrix is designed to seek out new species, the moment it detects them and will then release this beam of light to scan that target, allowing Ben to become that sample. Like when Ben scanned the werewolf as a kid, or scanned the runaway aliens in Alien Force. But there's a few things I want you to consider here. Number 1. The version of Alien the watch allows Ben to turn into is the apex of its kind. So if Ben scans Goku, he won't turn into a low-class or mid-class warrior. He will turn into whatever the strongest of that species is, and we will discuss this part later on. Number 2. The watch allows Ben an instant understanding of whatever he is turned into. What this means is, the moment Ben turns into the scanned alien, he already has a subconscious understanding of what it can do. All of its genetic and biological functions are provided to him, and anything the species has the potential of learning, he will also gain. And number 3. This relates to the Ultimatrix. The Ultimatrix works by putting the species of alien through thousands of years of war and conflict. Essentially, training the species to its absolute state, the zenith of its capacity, and then allows this version to be accessed by Ben. A few examples for you are on screen. Echo Echo goes from these small creatures that can duplicate themselves and release powerful sonic waves to becoming the singular powerful alien that can remove these mobile speakers and control them telepathically. These are so powerful they almost unalived Kevin in his hybrid form. That's the kind of advancement we're talking about here. Hopefully that gives you a good understanding of what to expect in this video. Now then, let's get to the topic. What if Ben scanned Goku? The very first thing is, he would be able to become a Saiyan, obviously. But he wouldn't turn into Goku. Goku is a low-class warrior, like I said before. He also wouldn't become like Vegeta, a high-class warrior. He would actually become Broly, a legendary Saiyan. Since Broly is the apex of what a Saiyan can be genetically, this is the base form Ben would take. If I manage to create what that would look like, it will be on screen, but I'm not sure since I'm just recording this right now. But how about the Saiyan forms though? Would he have those and which ones would he specifically have? Interestingly, he would have almost all of them, since they are a part of the Saiyan progression, but he would have some extras. So he would obviously have the Ozaru form, but since he is the legendary Saiyan, he would have the Broly variant, which is harnessing the Ozaru form without turning into it. Then he would have the legendary Super Saiyan state, along with Super Saiyan 2 which I will now be calling Legendary Super Saiyan 2 and Legendary Super Saiyan 3, along with access to Super Saiyan 4 or Legendary Super Saiyan 4. Though it may not be canon, it's fun to think that he could access a green version of that form. The controversy here comes from the god forms and whether he would have access to them. Well, in my opinion, yes he would. Since Saiyans have the potential to use these forms, I don't see why not. Further proof comes from Vegeta, who didn't require the Saiyan ritual to transform into a Super Saiyan God. He only accessed it by training, and as stated before, the Omnitrix give the version of the alien that has maxed out its training basically. So Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan would be forms he has access to and can turn into. The line though is at Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego, since these forms are not related to Saiyans at all, but instead are Angel and Destroyer forms, so Ben can't access these, though that won't matter much. Because like Ben once said, there's time to go hero, and then there's time to go ultimate. There's a time to go hero, and there's a time to go ultimate! Ultimate Spider Monkey! So what would the ultimate Saiyan look like? Well, have you ever heard of Super Saiyan Infinity? This version here, with glowing hair, looking crazy powerful, and straight up menacing. Also, completely not canon. But this is what I imagine the Ultimatrix will provide to Ben. 
a transformation so insanely powerful it would completely ignore everything else a saiyan can achieve and just stand as the pinnacle of what a saiyan can be the ultimate legendary super saiyan now that that's sorted i want to quickly go over some additional questions people will definitely ask in the comments would saiyan ben be able to use key and key attacks my answer to this is yes but likely won't be any of the named attacks you have already seen in the series since those were all either taught by other people or developed by each individual like how the kamehameha wave was roshi's and goku learned it from him or the garlic gun being a move vegeta learned on his own along with the final flash so while ben would have an understanding of what key and key attacks are he just won't have the moves you have already seen in the show which would give him the opportunity to just create new ones on the fly like a green kamehameha wave called the emerald cannon or a barrage of key blasts called the jade destruction I'm just improvising at this point but I think it would be pretty cool. Oh and before I forget, yes he would be able to fly because that's a basic key mastery technique which almost all Saiyans have learned at this point. As for breathing in space, it was never made clear whether Saiyans can breathe in space or not. So I will leave that blank because I straight up just don't know. Some say they can, some say they just hold their breath in space. You can pick whichever one you prefer. Anyway that will be the video. What did you think? Did you agree with my ideas on this topic? Is there anything I got wrong? Let me know in the comments. While writing this script, the channel reached 1.5k subscribers, so I'll take this chance to say thank you to all of you. It really means a lot to have reached this far. I have a lot of videos planned, so stay tuned for my uploads. Anyway, with all that said, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace, my friend.